Okay, you're gonna have to give me some grace. I am exhausted today and my mind is kind of all over the place. So I'm gonna take each question by itself and then if you could edit out the in-between periods, that'd be great. Hi, my name is Maddie and I have narcolepsy. My name is Stephanie and I have narcolepsy. My name is Lana and I have narcolepsy. Can you say the same thing? My name is Dylan and I have narcolepsy. 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 I'm 16 years old. I'm 54. 71. And I have narcolepsy. People who don't understand narcolepsy think that I'm lazy, crazy, or on drugs. Usually think I'm joking. Often just see my diagnosis as an excuse. I'm just a tired mom. Tiredness does not always show on the surface. But on the inside, we are fighting so hard to be our best selves. It's lonely. Narcolepsy can be very lonely. Um, because it's hard to remember not having to take a nap during the day or going to bed at a certain time. And it's easy for others to talk down the condition because it's so difficult to quantify it, um, which explains the reason that the time to diagnosis is so delayed. I was diagnosed seven years after being onset with symptoms. I was diagnosed 20 years, 15 years, 15 years, 32 years after the onset of symptoms. I'm stronger and more resilient because of it. Three years after being on set with symptoms. And I haven't felt fully awake in almost 27 years. Narcolepsy is just very good at reducing life and living to the feelings of suffering uh, between naps. It's a vulnerable position to be in, to be at the whims of a condition physically and mentally. Every day is a fight to stay awake. It can be really lonely. I've become so conditioned into believing that my symptoms aren't real. I'm either lazy or faking it. Or I'm some kind of hypochondriac. It's relentless. It's adapting to a whole new way of living in a world that no longer sees me. Sometimes all we need is someone to listen. You can feel better. We're not lazy and we try really hard every single day. If you feel sleepy, you should see a sleep specialist. Just having a name for what's interrupting your life can make a big difference. There's a lot of symptoms and a lot more to the disorder than meets the eye. Not one person with narcolepsy will look the same. And we just need some patience. It's also a lot of napping in public places. Even just having more people know what the condition is um, could be really good. I wish there was a lot more education that people had about narcolepsy. Because it does take a lot of pressure off of us. I urge you to educate yourself about the condition. You really can find people who understand what you're going through and really want to help. And remind each other that we're not alone. Letting people know how you're feeling, making connections with others who have narcolepsy, who have been in those situations. Narcolepsy is tough. It's extremely tough. But I'm tougher. The difference between being able to manage narcolepsy and it just managing you is knowing that you have it.